Whoa, this redesign was an interesting one. The directions went entirely different ways. Stuart Kushner, former web developer, transitioning into UX design, sent me his portfolio to be redesigned. Now taking a look at this portfolio design, it could have gone so many different ways, but respect to Stuart. I love it when a design has a story, a narrative, or a theme behind it. It is not just minimal for the sake of being minimal. You can see that he has references to magic. But I think in terms of the execution, they were a little bit dated or a little bit more appropriate for something like Mortal Kombat or something in gaming. So what I did was I tried to focus on his theme of magic. I didn't want to change it. I really respect the fact that he's tying in a story and narrative into his design decisions. I doubled down on that, but I tried to reference more modern day references in terms of magic. So you can see I used a very popular website called Pinterest to find some visual inspiration in terms of magic. I looked for cards, I looked for magic, and as you can see, I found some really cool inspiration from the movie Now You See Me. I utilize some of the colors, the theme, the iconography, and some of the visual details in the poster. And I also grabbed some details from an actual physical playing card to be applied in the design. Now, Stuart also has a few case studies and the UI is actually very basic and minimal. And I wanted to make sure that we bring through this magic theme into the way that we present some of those designs as well. So then I had some of the work hovering up and down and trying to maintain that theme and that narrative throughout all our design decisions. Now, I only spent around 30, 40 minutes in this design piece. There could be a lot more things that we could add and polish and refine, but I do hope that you enjoy the walkthrough from start to finish and make sure to stick right through to the end because I did add a few more additional bells and whistles.
All right, honest thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? And just keep in mind, I only spent 30, 40 minutes on this. I do like to go into these challenges with no context at all because it makes it a little bit more fun. I'm definitely keen to hear what you guys think. And if you do like these types of videos, make sure to gently smash that like button and I will see you guys in the video very soon. Bye.